I recently learned a tip as to how to get the most roses off of our climber as possible, and I wanted to share it with you. So let's get started with our next quick garden tip. We are gonna show you today how to attach this beautiful rose bush to the trellis in order to get as many roses as possible. So I wanted to show you up close. Take a look at this. Looking at this rose bush, you can see there's two different branches here. This large branch that I'm holding on to right now, I'm using gloves because it's very sharp. This large branch is called a main cane. This is where these smaller branches, or we could call them laterals, will grow. So the lateral grows right here, this little guy. This lateral will grow off of this main cane. The main cane will need to be attached to the trellis in a horizontal way. That way, the lateral will grow up. We will never prune our main cane. The main cane is the structure, or you could even call it the scaffolding of the rows. So we wanna make sure that we keep that horizontal as we attach it to our trellis. Now, if we want, we could probably attach it at a 45 degree angle and we'll still have plenty of laterals growing off of it. However, if we attach it vertically, what's gonna happen is all of our roses are gonna be up here on top. All of this beautiful new growth is in red and you can see how it's growing out of the top. So if we attached, if we just took our rose bush and attached it to the trellis, just like it is here, what would end up happening is all of our roses would end up growing out of the top. And we would have nothing but green branches and sticks down at the bottom. If we're lucky, they'd be green. And we'd have a bunch of roses all at the top. So the first step is going to be to take this main cane right here off of the stake that the nursery had attached it to so that it could grow in the nursery. It's sharp, make sure you're wearing your gloves. Had some damage during our shipping process. Oh, it's sharp. So we'll trim off some of that damage. Now here's the main cane. We attached this one to the trellis right here. You can see my little ties. I'm leaving my ties quite loose so I don't sever the, the new branch. When I decide it's gonna stay in a certain place for a long time, I'll make that look nice and tidy, but right now I just wanna be able to get it on and off as my plant grows. So looking over here, we've attached this main cane branch horizontally. It's coming from the stem across the trellis at a horizontal angle. Here's our largest main cane. I couldn't bend it completely horizontal without breaking it, so I went ahead and went at a 45 degree angle. Same thing for the new growth. All of this pink new growth, I really wanted to spread it out further, fan it out, so to speak, but I felt like I was gonna break those branches. So I went ahead and just let them go where they wanted to go, as long as it was horizontal or at a 45 degree angle. As our rose bush begins to grow, I'll move our branches around, our main canes, so that it fills in and looks really nice. But right now, we're just getting this baby plant started. We're just beginning to train it and we want everything as horizontal or at a 45 degree angle as possible. We will try to zigzag back and forth from left to right across the trellis. We barely beat the rain, but we did get baby the rose bush started in the right direction. Stay tuned for more quick garden tips from your favorite hobby gardener.